Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out the Miitopia demo. Uh, I haven't played this game before, I believe it was on the 3DS and they've ported it to the Switch, something like that. Um, I know it's heavily focused on Miis, um, I've seen it being played by one of my housemates and I was not super impressed. Uh, unlike with this game, where I saw my housemate playing it and I was like, this looks amazing and I got it. This one, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, fingers crossed, I hope I like it, but I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I probably won't. Um, I did like Tomodachi Life though, so we'll see, we'll see. Save data from this demo can be carried over to the full version. Cool. Uh, to represent me, select. See, I think, I think part of the problem uh, that this game might have on, on the Nintendo Switch is that the Switch doesn't really care about Miis. Um, if you look at the Wii or the 3DS, they have, you know, a Mii Plaza, the, the, the 3DS had Street Pass, it had all this different stuff that interacted with Miis to a great extent. On the Switch, you can have Miis and you can make them your avatar and stuff like that, but th there's no Mii Plaza, there's no Street Pass, there's really nothing to do with them outside of particular games you have to buy, uh, which is why I have almost no Miis, because there's no reason to have them, essentially. Um, and I think this game expects you to have quite a few on your console that you can use. Uh, I'm gonna put me in. Um, Kinds, that'll do. Um, I, I guess we'll go with the me's that, like, it automatically generates for us for the most part, but... Yeah, like, I imagine this game is probably more fun if you have a big cast of me's to work with rather than just, like, generic people. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Miitopia demo. I think you can pick me here and like that's like a me creator and you can mess with the ones that are in the, in your uh, system and stuff. Or we can just go start. This is the world of Miitopia. It is a world where every me can live in peace and harmony. Or should I say, it was. <gasps> One day, it came without warning. A great and terrible shadow threatening Metopia. Some unspeakable creature made off with the people's faces. And what's worse... Those stolen faces appeared on monsters. Oh, behold, a simple traveller. It's me! Sort of. I know, she looks kind of like me. Ooh. Another peaceful day. Danny is wandering alone, wherever the wind takes her. Oh no? Yipes! It doesn't seem that scary, but I guess like if like some realistic human eyeballs just came down from the sky and attached themselves to a butterfly's wings and then the butterfly started going at you, then maybe you'd be scared? I don't know, it doesn't seem very spooky to me. <sighs> Where am I? Ah! Danny spies a nearby town. 
Okay, we've got a little bit of a map screen here. Um, just wander on. Before we do though, I'm just gonna bring up the menu here with the X button. Uh, let's just mess with... Make me characters more fab with makeup and wigs. Try it now. Um, uh, let's get a wig. Feel like trying on a new hairstyle? You can mix and match the front and the back. You can even choose a new colour. All to find the wig of your dreams. One quick word of warning though. When you're wearing a wig, your hat won't be visible. You always take the wig off, so no worries there. Alright, let me see here. I think part of the reason this stuff is in the game is that the me customization options that's like come that like Nintendo provide on this on like the system proper are very limited. Uh, so they've added this thing in Metopia so you can have a lot more variety in how your characters look basically. I do like that one. Hmm. That looks suitably ridiculous. Or well, that one? Hmm. Maybe just like that. More hair. <laughs> uh, and then let's... Hmm. Let's just green it up a bit more. Like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Settings? I'm not sure what this means yet. There we go. And I think, yeah, the makeup counter just has a lot more options for your face, basically. New set of eyelashes or a new colour of lip gloss. The sky's the limit when it comes to making yourself shine. Put enough effort in, you can look like a whole new person. Sounds like fun? Give it a try. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of options here. Uh, you can replace your eyes with different ones. Or extra ones, apparently. Because my normal eyes are still there as well, which is weird. And yeah, you can just mess with how your eyes look in all sorts of different ways. Again, just because the base system in um, like on the on the Switch itself doesn't give you a whole lot of customization choices, so you, you can use this to get more, I guess, uh, and make you make like more choices to make your faces look different, that kind of thing. Um, but for now, let's just continue. I like that because the body is so tiny on the world map, my hair is now longer than me. Like, look at look at that. That's so cute. Ah, me, Topia. So many faces. You can choose any me you like to play the character's parts. And you can switch things up later, too. Alright, let's fill those roles with me characters. See, this is the problem I'm getting at, right? Because uh, you don't really use me's on Switch the way you would have done on the Wii, or the 3DS, but especially the Wii, you don't really have a library of me's to use in this game. Um, if I click Receive, does that, like, download them from the internet, or...? Because if I can just download, like, some pre-made ones, that would be really helpful. Uh, friend? Uh, Lara's played the game, what's, what's she got? Let's have a look. Uh... Yeah, that'll do. There we go, we've got slightly different characters now. <sighs> for some reason, they have genders locked in for the roles. You can see, like, this is Harriet, but it still says he... It still says lovey-dovey man. He doesn't really love her, but he does enjoy her company. I, I don't understand why they've done that. Uh, and there's, like, this cheeky child here. Like, they could have just avoided using any pronouns at all, and the kid could just be of any gender. But they didn't. And this could be a worried parent as well, but... It's just very strange. Uh, let's just go with that. Greenhorn.
Dubious Mayor Tabitha. Welcome, adventurer. I'm the mayor of this town. I take it you've spoken to all our townsfolk? Uh... Yes, I sure have. <laughs> Greenhorn's a nice town. But I am mayor, so I would say that. Huh? What in the world is that? Who? Where? What? How? What is it, Mommy? Shh, keep quiet. Ally. Harriet! This can't be good. Hmm? Oh no, it's... Dark Lord, a wicked presence that rules monsters from the shadows. Who is a me to play the Dark Lord? Again, like, I, I don't have a lot of me's to work with. Um, I'll just do create from scratch and then just make something. Uh, hang on, copy me from Amiibo? Is that a thing? Let me just see what that does. Okay, I grabbed Isabel. There she is. Hopefully we can make Isabel the Dark Lord <laughs> just by scanning her here. Let's see what happens. Okay, no, that's me. That's just that's just me. I didn't do anything useful. <laughs> I, I guess I don't know what what assigning a to an amiibo actually does. Um Uh back. Okay from scratch. Okay. I'll try scanning one of my other amiibos. I don't think I've ever tried to do this with them. Uh. Here's Princess Peach. There is no mirage to this amiibo. Okay, so you can't just like import Nintendo characters by scanning your amiibo, which would have been cool. Um. All right, let's uh, create from likeness. Uh, let's go female, I guess. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some people. I like this one. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going for here. It just, it just seems to fit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. The role has been assigned. The Dark Lord Vicky. <laughs> I am the Dark Lord Vicky. I've come to wreak havoc and terror on this miserable little world. And I'm starting with you, people of Greenhorn. You're starting with people of Greenhorn? Okay, I already saw a stolen face in that first cutscene, the one that went on the butterfly. So, was that not you, or did you actually not start with the people of Greenhorn? Are you lying to me? It's time for your first taste of true fear. Say goodbye to your faces. With my magic, I'll erase it. <laughs> goodbye to the holiday. I'll erase it. The greatest gift that I give today, and every pony will have to face it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, some faces are being stolen. Goodbye, faces. Oh my heavens! Th they're faces! Hmm. Well, I think this should do nicely for now. Now listen here, you faceless freaks. I hope you like a life of wordless terror, because that's all you've got now. And to those of you left behind, take a nice long look at your poor little friends and despair. Bye-bye. <laughs> cool. Diane, my poor baby. 
Don't panic, don't panic. Oh, adventure. I beg you, please. Please help my Diane. Nah. I suppose I was being unreasonable. Sorry. Diane. Oh, please let him be safe. Him? I think I actually have to say yes to progress. But I'm surprised it let me say no. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you ever so much. I know. Please take this. It's our family's good luck charm. Nice, you got an antique charm. I fear the Dark Lord still lurks nearby. Would you look outside town for him? Again, why is the Dark Lord him? What, what, who is this helping? Who accepted the mother's request. Okay, I believe now that we leave, now if we leave town. Uh, there's something I want to check in this next area, which I'm going to do by just taking off this wig. Um, this is the wrong option. Based on, like, what I saw when, when, um, my housemate was playing. I just want to see what happens. I have regular hair in this next scene. Boop. There we go. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> is someone trying to be a hero? Give Diane's face back. What do you mean this runt? Hmm, maybe I will give this one back to you on one condition. How good are you in a fight? Eep. Oh no. So scary. Me seeing you. If you survive, that is. <laughs> I enjoy evil laughing. Uh. Oh no! Oh, right. The thing I just got. The antique charm is glowing, and a voice is coming from it. Danny. Danny, can you hear me? No. Oh, what good fortune this is. Now, you may not believe what I'm about to tell you, but I am a god. Okay, I said no. But did you notice? What? Please, just hear what I have to say. It seems you're in a spot of bother, my child. Would you like a little help? No. What? Surely you jest. No, 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 I just can't just leave you. It would hurt my divine credentials. I bestoweth upon thee the power of the gods. Ha! Gift of divine power. You can now use jobs. Oh no. Gift of capitalism. You have a job now. <laughs> use special jobs to defeat monsters. Now, select a job you would like. Jobs determine your role in battle. Some are tailored more towards fighting, while others may be better at healing. Your weapons and the type of clothes you can wear are determined by your job. You can, however, fully customize your looks and clothes afterwards. Have fun! Okay, so we got pretty standard classes. Warrior, Mage, Cleric, Thief, but also we have Pop Star and Chef. Okay, so this is what I wanted to check. Uh, you do actually get the top hat or the bow, but also... Why, why is this here? Be a chef if you want. Be a thief if you want. Be a cleric if you want. As a mage, warrior. I'm thinking. I'm thinking thief. I like the flight goggles. Let's see how we go. And he became a thief. Would you look at that? Ho oh, ho ho. This should be enough for you to deal with the Dark Lord's fiends. Now fight, Odani. Give them what for. Okay, so... Can I fight now? Here goes nothing. Mm. 
Mini Dian Slime. Okay, so essentially it's a turn-based RPG. Um, I don't have any skills or snacks yet, so just attacking. Frog! Yeah! Okay! Wee. I sure do. That was pretty grueling. Nice one. Slime jelly. Oh. Excellent work, young Danny. Oh, it was nothing. Now that child should be safe as well. Ho oh, oh, ho, oh, things are looking up. Now return to Greenhorn Town. I mean, there are still more people with missing faces. So I should probably try to help. Yippee, I'm back! Oh, my poor sweet Diane. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. Oh, thank the stars. And thank you, kind traveller. Please take this, it's a thank you gift. 200 gold received. Is that a lot? I don't really know. Oh, 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 wonderful, just wonderful. Now then, Danny, my child, I have another task for you. Um, you do? You have seen the deeds of the Dark Lord, Vicky. She's made quite the mess, and that's putting it mildly. I don't understand why all the roles are gendered like this. And so I must ask you... Vanquish the vile Vicky and save this world. Nah. Well, unfortunately, you have no say in the matter. You do owe me for saving you from that monster. Those powers, these powers should help you contend with Vicky. Now, go after the Dark Lord, Danny the Thief. I expect great things from you. Ha ha ho. Interesting that they called it Thief and not like Rogue or something. Be gay, do thievery. Um, am I supposed to do something else here or do I just leave and continue with my quest? I guess I'll just leave. Who's a me for each traveller? Oh, right. So these are like random NPCs you're gonna meet during your adventure. Roaming Gourmet. Nintendo fan. Prodigious Postman. Wizmaster. And Roving Photographer. I'm just gonna leave them as they are. And you can see Maricrode's over there now. Eason Hills. Let's go! I'll admit, this is sort of lonely. I'm pressing nothing, by the way. Just to be clear. Rock Moth. Oh, it's not a butterfly? Okay. Well, let's attack it. Frog! Okay. Got a face back. I don't know if it belongs to someone in Greenhorn Town or what. Ho oh, ho ho. You've seen the face flying off the monster, I take it. Whoever owned that face has you to thank for freeing it. Just like that young scamp you met earlier. Put another way, defeating monsters helps people get their faces back. So keep defeating monsters and help as many people as you can. Can you do that for me, Danny? Ho ho ho. I wanted to say no again, but it didn't give me the option. 
I can go a few more rounds. Level two. Bunch of stats. I get a new skill. Hope I haven't dropped any treasure. Again, I'm pressing nothing. This is completely automatic. Oh, hero is in trouble. Um, I don't think I can do this. Oh, ho, ho. looks like you're in hot water. Very well. Help is on the way. Amicus, Amos, 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 Amigo. I don't know how to pronounce what they just did. Uh, let's receive from a uh, friend. Oh wow, look at all these options. We should have been doing this the whole time. Uh, Natalie, there we go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> How did I get here? Ah! Let me help you. Sure. Okay, so now I have a second party member. Attack. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Oh, I hit both of them. Neat. Uh, I didn't press anything for Natalie to attack. That's automatic. Yippee. To be clear, yeah, I think I can only control myself, not any other party members I happen to get. They seem to be auto-battlers. Get in? I don't know what that means. Butterfly honey, also 10 gold. Phew! Thanks for that. So you're off to save the world, huh? Can I join you? Uh, yes. I kind of want to say no, but I really don't want to miss that opportunity, just in case. Nice to meet you. Natalie joined your team. Oh, 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 so you're both still in one piece, eh? You and Natalie should become good friends as you journey. The deeper your friendship, the more powerful you'll become. Bon voyage. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just... I'm gonna put my wig back on. There we go. Again, I'm not pressing anything. This is completely automatic. Oh, there's something on the ground. The banana. One HP banana. Nothing. On top of the world. I know that feeling. I like how I'm crawling along even though my other party members are just walking normally. Hey, Natalie, wait. They took out an HP banana. One half? They ate the HP banana together. Yum. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at the little dance. I am not a happy bunny. I'm gonna go out the wrong side of the bed. Oh, H hello. A goblin, huh? Okay. We win. What a breeze. Goblin ham. This is so much fun. I love to do nothing. I know that feeling. Oh, I'm so tired from all this not pressing any buttons. Me too. I'm wondering how long I can last. Wait, what's that? Found an inn. 
An inn! Come on, let's get our heads down for a kip. Praise be to the deity of well-placed inns. Found an inn. Yep, that's an inn, all right. Time the two of you for the two of you to pick a room. When two characters share a room, their relationship will naturally grow. The closer two characters are, the more they'll help each other out in battle. Pop them in your choice, the room of your choice, and watch how they get on. Okay, so we want them to be in the same room, ideally with only one bed. <laughs> uh, up here? Let's go with this one. Oh, whoops. Did I do something wrong? I'm trying to put them next to each other. There we go. Cute. Oh, no, separate beds. Uh, what can I do now? Uh, eat grub? The food that you find on your journey can be fed to your team members. Their stats will improve bit by bit as they eat. Be sure to give them all nice big meals after each leg of your journey. Incidentally, the amount their stats will increase is directly linked to how much they like the food. If they don't like what they eat, don't expect to see much of an improvement. Instead, feed them their favourite food and watch them go from strength to strength. Okay. Let's see, um, we want to give the MP probably to you. Up, up. Uh, I'd like more attack. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, more HP, I could use that. Do I like that one? Okay, I don't like any food. <laughs> uh, spend gold? Sell out some gold to your team and help them buy things they want. They may want snacks, which can be shared among the team, or they want something for themselves, such as a new weapon or a set of clothes. They can come back with all sorts of stuff. There's a slim chance they might be tempted to buy something else. But hey, it happens to everyone sometimes, right? Okay, um, I want clothes? Let's see if we can get a new outfit. Oh yeah, that looks good. Uh, yeah, we can afford that. Oh, I got a banana by accident. Oh well. <laughs> uh, we can go get another banana, I think. Uh, let's set off, I suppose. HP bananas and MP sweets are precious snacks that can recover your stats. They're always short at inns. Your team will grab whatever snacks they can get their hands on when on the road. When you get to an inn, any extra snacks you have will be placed in storage. Don't worry, they'll never get thrown away. Uh, yeah, set up with this team, let's do it. Let's go! I want a cat! Why do you say that? Gah! Ugh. Are you okay? Emily lent a hand to Danny. Thanks! Natalie was great- Danny was grateful to Natalie. We do a little dance together. Natalie just guff? I don't know what that means. What, what does guff mean? Oh, there's two of them. Um, yeah, I still can't... I can make myself auto-battle, but I can't make my team members not auto-battle. Frag! Yeah! Okay. That would just have a lot more health than the other one? I guess so. Okay. Yeah, we do. I think that's it. Level up. More stats. Launch Encore. Encourage a friend to give them an extra turn. Neat. 
Got some ham. I know that my character doesn't like ham, so I'll give it to... I want a cat! I know that feeling. <laughs> Is Chilton's face somewhere around here? Yeah, he'd be stuck to a monster, right? Who knows? Well, let's search and hope he doesn't find us. Aren't we trying to find it? Again, this is automatic. Need some doggy cuddles. That's nice. Huh? What? Uh, big butterfly? Is that what's happening? Butterfly Shilton. Uh, yeah, we still can't actually control our extra party member. Rag. Just our main member. New skill, Encore. Danny gets another turn. Okay, I'm not very powerful, but thanks. First grub, HP banana. Chomp chomp. Did they just attack twice in a row? Oh my god, they're attacking so much. Sorry, everybody. Gift of divine power. Awoke life sprinkles power. Sprinkle its mysterious power of, to revive a me. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, you've run out of HP completely? If you do, you're done for and can't continue to fight. But you can use the life sprinkles to revive. Life sprinkles are extremely precious. Don't waste them. Ho oh, oh, oh. ho ho. Welcome. Team Natalie win. I think that's it. Um. Letter. Thanks for the help with Diane. It's a little something for your trouble from Alita. An outing ticket. Cool. Oh, I see. It shows that I don't want to eat that. to like any food. <laughs> uh, let's find out about the outings. Your first outing ticket. Hurry and go up and give it to someone so they can go on an outing. Not quite a date, but just two people hanging out together. The relationship between characters who go on an outing will get deeper. Sounds like a date to me. 
Let's go to the cafe. Wanna relax at a cafe? This way, if you please. Sure. Okay, it's clearly a date. You see little hearts? Now there's like romantic music playing. Yeah! I got my wallet. Guess what? Me too. Growing closer. Don't show off together. Impress your friend by doing extra damage to enemies. Huh. Alright, well, that was cool. It was also very clearly a date. <laughs> I don't like that either? Is there anything I like? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, is my face back on? <sighs> That's a relief. Sticking a poor fella's face on a monster? Who'd even do that? Um, so are these people still aware of what's going on when their faces are stuck to something else? Like... I have questions. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thanks for the gold. Uh, hello. Hi, hello, I'm Mariko. Would you say you're a Nintendo fan? A what now? How can you not know? I'm Nintendo's number one fan. Hello. I've heard of these secret figures you can get. They're called Amiibo. I wonder what they look like. If you have one, would you mind showing it to me? Yes, I would mind. What, really? Yeah, I'll... I said yes, I would mind. Can I see it? <sighs> Alright. This is Isabel. Here you go. Thank you so much. Meepo was so great. Why don't you take this? I got Isabel. Oh. You have more. Feel free to show them to me. Okay, okay, Isabel clothing, hello. <laughs> oh, yes. Actually, this is my defense. Can I just make, like, wear that? Oh, yeah, I can only use stats, so I think I can equip something. And not actually... Hang on, let's talk to you again, because I have more amiibos. Here's another one. Hello. Becoming quite the expert. It's hard to pick a favorite, though. So, any maybe to show me? Yes. Please stop talking. Peach clothing. There we go. I guess that's kind of neat. 
Let's go. No more fighting. Have you no pride? Oh, fighting. Here we go. Yippee! <coughs> oh! <laughs> bless, bless me! <laughs> Is Natalie in a bad mood? Let's say with a little victories. I think she's in a good mood. <laughs> Look, that cloud looks like a slime jelly. Looks more, looks more to me like a juicy goblin ham. Ah. Mmm. I'm so hungry. Ridiculously hungry. Time to get us some loot. I want some new clothes. Which way? Uh, let's go on the tough path. That sounds pretty fun. Natalie in a bad mood? I want some new clothes. Nah, nah that's a good mood mood. <laughs> oh, there's four of them. Hello. Well, all of my attacks are area attacks, so this probably isn't a huge issue. Okay. Encore. And he gets another turn. Okay. If the divine power. Awoke HP Sprinkles power. Sprinkles mysterious powder to restore HP. Ho ho ho, you've awakened a new power. If you lose HP, you won't be able to fight much longer. Use some HP Sprinkles to recover before you're KO'd. Be warned, the Sprinkles only have a limited number of uses. Make sure you use them wisely. Ho ho ho. Uh... That's probably fine. Okay, so there's a couple of different kinds of effects like that. Okay. Victory. Level up. Place a trap before you to interrupt and counter an enemy attack. Cool. Can I have a rest? Cheer up! What's in here? Ooh, money! Found an inn! Someone's at the door. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, seems you've got company. Who is it? It's a new team member. Defeating the Dark Lord would be difficult with only two of you. So I called a new team member to come and join you. Give them a warm welcome.
There we go. Nice to meet you. I'm Lyra, I'm a warrior. I'm looking forward to traveling with you. Lyra joined your team. Be sure you make Lyra feel welcome to the team. By the way, I thought I'd called another member. I wonder what became of them. Well, I'm sure they'll show up eventually. And now you're a party of three. Ho ho ho. Make a room for Lara to stay in. Uh, can you go in here with everyone else? Doesn't look like it. Uh, There's only two slots, like, they could clearly share the bed, but it's not an option. Which is sad. Because I put you down there? Oh, what are you two talking about? You're free to group team members however you like. Just pay them up in rooms if you want them to get along. A speech bubble will float over their heads when something's going on. Select it to take a closer look inside the room and watch events unfold. I bet you're itching to find out what they'll do, aren't you? Sure. <laughs> I didn't sleep much last night. Oh no, what happened? Turns out that you talk quite loudly in your sleep. Oh no, sorry about that. You kept saying, "Oh, so cute. Oh, that's embarrassing. Level 3? Learnt warning together. Call out to a friend to give them a chance to dodge an attack. Neat. Uh, you go down here now. Uh, I think I'd like a new weapon, that sounds good. A toy dagger. If that's better than a normal dagger, then sure. That's better stats. And then you... Yeah, you can have a megaphone. Uh, let's eat something. Okay, I know you don't like goblin ham. How do you feel about it? Doesn't mind it, apparently. You probably want to up your attack because you're a warrior, so here's another one. Well, MP went up, so that's something. Uh, yeah, the, all three of us. There we go. Set up with this team. Okay, we're about 50 minutes. I just want to talk about this game a bit. Um, I think the main problem with it is that it's such a simple game. Um, like, as I've mentioned, you can only control yourself in combat, and when you're on the overworld, like, looking for monsters to fight, that's completely automated. You have no control over what, where they go, like, where you look, and that kind of thing. Um, if, you know, you could control all your party members and come up with strategies and stuff, that would be a little bit better. If you could control where you go in the overworld, that would also be better. As it stands, it's so basic that I don't understand how they're selling this as a complete game by itself. Um, I sort of got the impression from, like, reading about Metopia that it would be sort of a, here's a, like, a mishmash of little, of little minigames, and this is the, this is the RPG minigame, and there are others. Kind of like, um, the Street Pass Plaza, which has a whole bunch of different games. And that was free, right? That just came with a 3DS. And, um, there was one very similar to this called Street Pass Quest. And I don't think this really adds a whole lot that you couldn't already do in Street Pass Quest. 
Um, it's it's very similar to that game, and yet it's being, it's like a full price standalone product, which seems a bit much to me. Um, I'll probably keep playing the demo a little bit more, but it, there's just problems with it. Um, and this particular Switch port, I've talked about this already, but the Switch really doesn't care about Miis. Um, the, the 3DS and the Wii U, and especially the Wii, had a really big focus on making Miis and, like, having them do stuff. And, you know, having a me for all your friends and having a Miis for your favourite characters and that kind of stuff. This whole platform on the Switch, you, you just don't have a me library like that. There's no me plaza. The only, like, way you can create a me is to go to something uh, that expects you to have me's, and then it gives you the option. Um... You can do that, like, from the home menu. You can go into here, I think, and then you can, like, edit your profile in order to put a me on it here. I think. Yeah, you can you can put a me on this way, and that lets you create a me without actually buying, like, a game that has me's in it. But there, there isn't, like, a plaza you can go to and say, here's my library of me's, and you can't, like, share them that way, as far as I know. Um... It's very limited, um, and it's just not something that's focused on, so... Putting a game like this, which is essentially... Uh, it's basically a very rudimentary RPG, with the gimmick being... You can have your Miis in it. It... It doesn't, like... It, it doesn't, like, uh... Have the same emotional, like, and... I guess the same novelty and the same impact that it would have if this game were played on a platform like the 3DS that really encouraged you to have Miis in the first place for things like Street Pass and all the little Street Pass games that you can have for free and all the, like, uh, little gimmicks and stuff that way. Um, like, if, like, Wii Sports, for example, came with every Wii for free and you would make your own Miis to play, play that in, so you would have a Mii for each person, like, in your household at the very least by the time you played something like Miitopia. Uh, whereas the Switch... You know, you're not, you're not expected to have me's. Like, I'm using this little picture of Flick here because they're super cute. Um, and I only have two me's on the system. Like, you can make more, and you can use them in things like Smash Ultimate and Metopia here, and probably other things, I don't know. Like, but a lot of games, like, there's just not... Like, for example, Mario Galaxy, uh, you had a bunch of save files, and you labeled them using, like, your me faces and stuff. Uh, but Mario Odyssey just has five save files and they're just numbered. Uh, there's no focus on Miis at all. I, I don't think Miis are even supported by Odyssey. Um, and so porting this game that's so reliant on having this big library of Miis that you can use to cast as all the different characters in this RPG, which otherwise is, otherwise is very basic and has very like little to offer in terms of gameplay, uh, having that on a platform where you just don't have any Miis to use, it, it's, just, it's just a really weird misstep. Um, it helps that I can pull Miis from other people's, like, libraries and stuff, uh, which I have done in order to get, you know, uh, Natalie and Lara onto my team here, but, um, like, obviously they had to create those at some point, and that's just a lot of effort to go through, but otherwise the platform doesn't expect from you, and so it's not something everyone's gonna have access to to have all these Miis they can use. Um... I also think it's pretty silly that the wig feature, which is, like, one of the major gimmicks of this game, is that you can customise, like, your character's hair a lot more than you can with regular me. That doesn't combine at all with giving your character a hat. Um, like, it's, it's just very weird that they didn't put those two things that are only in this game, then it's not compatible with each other. Um, very strange. <laughs> uh, what else, what else, what else? Um... I also have to say here, I think the story is is pretty like it's very it's very silly. I think it's supposed to be very silly. Um, I think all these faces we're rescuing should have some sort of impact. Like only one of them so far is actually sorry, two of them have appeared on someone that we've actually been able to see. Um, there should be somewhere we can go like to see the other twelve faces we've rescued, but there's nothing like that. Um. Also, like, the gender stuff, like, wh why are so many of these, like, random NPCs locked into a particular gender? 
So if you change them to a me that has a different gender, like, they just don't use the right pronouns, and it's just... Especially, why are so many of these characters, like, assumed to use he, him, regardless of what me you select? It's just... It doesn't make sense. Um... And there's no reason for it. Like, this game doesn't have any voice acting. They could just easily change the pronouns in any of this text with, like, no effort. Um, but they didn't. So, yeah, um, I guess if you really love, like, Mies and you've made a bunch of them and you want to say, like, I want to see all my Mies go on an adventure together, this is a game you can do that in. Um, it's just not a very, uh... It's not a very deep adventure, it doesn't have a whole lot of game mechanics involved, it's very automated, and... There's also like a lot of reliance on stuff like randomness, like for example when you go to, like, when you want to upgrade your equipment, you give money to your characters, they go and maybe buy the item they're supposed to be getting, but otherwise they can just get some random crap instead. And that's... It's just, it's just not a very, like, well-designed RPG. Even considering how basic it is, it's just not very good. <laughs> um, I think if they had, like, put more effort into making this a full role-playing game, uh, you know, like, more NPCs, more of, like, an, like a real open-world sort of uh, overworld you can travel through, and uh, random encounters you can see on the map and avoid, like in most modern RPGs. Um, the ability to control all of your characters rather than just your main hero during a battle, that kind of thing. Uh, essentially making it, you know, play like an RPG normally would. Um, like a Dragon Quest or a Final Fantasy or even like a, a Mana game. I, I, like I've been playing Trials of Mana and that game is fantastic. And it has like much more elaborate combat and control and stuff. It actually does have auto battling. Uh, for the characters you're not controlling, because the mana games use, like, a real-time combat system. Uh, and it's really fun. Um, but you can switch characters in that game at any time and control everyone and consider, like, what special abilities they have, and you have to, like, basically juggle them around so that you can get the most effective combat. Whereas here, you control one character, it's turn-based, and you can set them to auto-battle, which means nothing at all, like, you, you don't get to contribute anything at all to the combat. Um... It's just a confusingly, like, if if they had made the RPG a lot more elaborate and made it, you know, here's an RPG, which is a solid game in its own right, and also you use me's as the characters in the story, that would be one thing. But this is sort of like, it's like the most basic, uh, rudimentary, like, take on the RPG genre, genre we could think of. By the way, there are me's here, that's the whole drawer. Which just doesn't, it doesn't work out very well. Uh, I think if it had been, also, if it had been a bunch of little mini-games that you play with your Miis, like, like I was kind of expecting something similar to the Street Pass Plaza, where you can take your Miis and visit a bunch of different little games, uh, that they participate in. Like, all of them are very basic games, but there's, like, lots of them, so you've got a lot to do and try out and stuff, and... Again, Street Pass Quest is very similar to this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as it is, I don't think I would recommend this. Um, if it looks like it might be fun, you can grab this demo for free and play it yourself and give it a try and see if you like it more than I do, but I don't think I like it. Um, by the time I post this, I'll probably have played the whole demo just to like try to get through it and see everything. Uh, so I'll put in the video description if I have additional thoughts beyond what I've just said, but... I think I've pretty much seen what the game has to offer at this point. It's very rudimentary, it's very simple. Uh, I guess the me customization features are pretty elaborate, but the fact that they're not really compatible with the game that they're designed to work with, like if you put a wig on you can't see your hat anymore, that kind of thing, it's just very, very confusing to me that that they've, like, they sort of bolted on this customization system that doesn't really work with the game it it, it is only designed to work for. <sighs> so yeah, that's Miitomo. No, it's not. It's Miitopia. Miitomo was a mobile app. It's gone now. <laughs> uh, this is Miitopia, and it doesn't look super great. Um, 
if it looks like something you might enjoy, then yes, try out the demo, but it's not something I'm probably going to enjoy. Which is disappointing. <sighs> That's about it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! Let me just hit the stop recording over here. <laughs> I forgot to get the mouse in the right place. Here we go. Bye!